Well, hello there, beautiful. Welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of Thimbleweed Park. All right. So uh, the last time that we played, uh, we had just um, finished submitting all of the records into the various uh, trons in the town hall. And uh, both of our agents have left town because the murder was solved. And um, so they, they have no reason to be hanging around, or do they? So we're going to pick back up right now. Our playable characters are Loris, Ransom, and... Um... Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. Aww. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Oh, Franklin. Surely we'll find some way to help Franklin. Franklin. Calling I had all his name. geeks! ThimbleCon 87 is now open! Alright, the the convention is open. They were setting up last um uh last chapter, I think they're called they're calling them chapters. Um so the ThimbleCon has opened. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Second Listen to Case Gum to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Oh. All right, so let's just do a quick review of our of our to-do lists, or in Franklin's case, our boo-hoo lists. Just to, um, cause it's been a, it's been a little bit. It's been a, a hot minute since I did my last one, so we'll just refresh our memory as to what we need to do here. So Franklin still wants to talk to Dolores, visit Chuck's tomb, and then escape to the afterlife. All right, Dolores, what what are your I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. Mm. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. Hmm. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. So Dolores wants to find out what happened in that factory. Why was her uncle so obsessed with it in the final years of his life? And how did he really die? She also wants to find out what happened to her dad. What happened to dad? Get inside the pillow factory. Need to go and get that lawyer to read the, her uncle's will. Um, she wants to win tickets to ThimbleCon. And of course, we are always collecting more specks of dust. Excellent. And how about you, Ransom? I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh yeah. at the stupidity of stupid people. <laughs> all I wanted to do I feel like there's a lesson in all people. of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. <laughs> it's all that... Franklin's fault. Aww. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. Oh, my comeback the depends on it. You! Alright. So both Ransom and Dolores want into that pillow factory. Let's see, we've taken care of these. So he also wants to break into the pillow factory. He also wants tickets to ThimbleCon. And he also wants some specks of dust. P.S. I hate my life and go beep yourself if you found this note and I'm reading it. I know I've read that before, but... I like reading it. Uh, okay. So we've got, uh, we've got these two who both went into the factory. Um, let's see if anything's changed over at the factory, since that's a common goal. Let's see, it looks like it's still locked. 
It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. This is waggling. No, nothing new. All right, so, and it's the safely first savings and loan that control the key. Probably, since they are the ones who are managing the property. So let's... Hi! I'm trying to remember, is the savings and loan to the... No, that's the edge of town. So we want to go over this way. Hmm. That's a little weird glitch. Open. I can't open that. Not the sign. Okay, what's what's going on with the sign? It says we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. L. Paulo. Oh. Okay, so the the bank is closed. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Hmm. All right. So that item will have to wait for a minute because we can't um, we can't seem to get to the bankers who would be able to open that gate for us and out at the uh, the pillow factory there's there's no one around to talk to so that seems a pretty good indication that we need to work on a different puzzle so let's see maybe maybe the thimble con yeah uh let's see we we heard from franklin when he was looking at the poster that you can win you can win tickets franklin's a ghost maybe he can just sneak calling up. Here goes nothing. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. <laughs> Not long now. <laughs> I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your it room is key. Your room key. Oh my. Well, welcome back, Agent Reyes. What's in your new shiny notebook? Oh, that's everything. <laughs> the light on the phone is. Flashing. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Aww. Un beso, the, at the end of the message, un beso means one kiss. So he made a promise to his mom. Oh. And Agent Ray also welcomed back. Yep, everything completed in yours as well. And your phone is flashing. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Okay, and sayonara is a goodbye in Japanese. So she is chatting with... That doesn't seem to work. No, you can't, you can't open the door. Okay. Here's your package, Abu. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. <laughs> yeah. Is that you, Reyes? No, what? I'm not Reyes. No. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Well, then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Yeah, Too bam, safe. Reyes. <laughs> what are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. <laughs> I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. Okay. You first. <laughs> okay. I'm... Family uh, investigating. I, is it aliens? Are we gonna be really honest? Let's be really honest. 
I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. Well... Let's see, Mom says he was always complaining about the faulty logic, he was a scapegoat. Um, the fire got blamed on him. I'm here to clear, clear his name. Do you like adventure games? Do you like adventure games? Not really. They are too slow, and often contain overly contrived stories that make no sense. Ooh. Yeah, I hear you on that one. That said, clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Mm. Well... Alright, well he was honest with us. So, let's be honest with him in return. Let's see, I'm just... Do I want to work for the police here? Oh, vacation. Uh, promotion. Yep, Japanese company. I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Ma'am, I have a package of blue for you. Ooh, another one of these surveillance cam things. Someone is spying on all of us. Ooh. Ooh, it's so creepy. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what's in. Oh, we got new. Yes, new to-do lists. Steal the secret to the, pa the pillow factory AI, which we will need to break into the pillow factory to do. Which we will need to get the key to the factory gate to do, and win tickets to nerdy ThimbleCon. Is this the first person who's referred to it as nerdy? I think so. I mean, in their notes, I know that uh, on the. In the announcements and things, they've called it the Geek and Nerd uh, Convention. All right, what's in this package? It's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. Indeed. Let's Perfect. It. It's a special tool for a special use. Huh. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Ah, yes, I'm sure. I'm sure it does. I'm curious now to see what is in Agent Reyes's package. Let's see. Find evidence that Dad did not start that fire. Get into the pillow factory. Get the factory gate. Win tickets to amazing ThimbleCon. And spend some dust. Excellent. All right. Yes! It's my father's watch! So this was sent to him by his mother, and this is part of the plan. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken and only a professional will be able to fix it. All right, we've added Fix Dad's Watch to Reyes's to-do list. Now we happen to know, I don't know. We happen to know from the sign and from things that he has said that our, um, our favorite local scapegoat, uh, Willie T. Wino, I think that was his, his full unfortunate name, that he, had a watch and violin repair shop. So Willie knows how to fix watches. And we happen to Hello, have Dolores. Him as a captive audience. At least we did at the end of last chapter. Let's see if he's still here. Yes, there he is. Let's see. We just we can just cut to the chase. Let's see what happens if we give the broken pocket watch to him. I'm innocent! If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. That is a very fair point. But what if I told you that I can use the watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Yeah. Well, that's a strange looking watch. 
Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. Ah. Okay, we're gonna have to find tools to fix the watch. All right, good to know. So I wonder if there's anything new downstairs. Anything in here? Nope, things all seem about the same. What was that? Did you see someone? I totally just saw someone around that corner. Did I make that up? I could have sworn. Oh, so creepy, you guys. Okay. Let's see. It said if you listen to the radio that you can win tickets. Where have we seen... I guess there was one just right in there. But I know where there's an easy one I can get to is right here in the diner. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. Yeah. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And okay. now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. Okay. So we're gonna need to answer some trivia questions. Let's see, isn't the uh Oh, radio station. I can see it from here. I can see it right over there. I wonder if I can get over there to it. Okay, so we have to answer. Back the other way towards the bridge. Vista, the hotel, the old circus. Is this something? No. There's the abandoned factory. There's all of this stuff here. And there's the mansion. I wonder if they're listed on the... Uh, where can I get to a phone? Let's see. Where am I right now? I'm Agent Ray. Yes. You're in room 606. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we've got a phone in the lobby right here, too. I'm wondering if... Is there a phone book though? Oh, there's no phone book. Why is there no phone book in the lobby? That would have made things a lot helpful. A lot more helpful. A lot helpfuler. Um, six, right? Yes, 606. So my plan is I'm going to use the phone book, see if the radio station is listed in, um, in the phone book. And then I'm gonna to try to call them, see if I can get get those sweet tickets. Because I can't seem to find the radio station to go and visit in person. So, and they said um, first uh, first caller. So, let's see, it's gonna be under K. Here we go, K Scum Radio, seven two eight six. Can you remember that for me? Okay. Okay, what was the number again? Right, 7286. Thank you. Hello, caller. You're live on KSUM. All right. Uh, hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? I mean, clearly it was Mrs. Gorbachev. Uh, that was uh, Ronald Reagan. Let's see, we could also ransom the clown, the wrecking crew. Let's go with Reagan. That's correct. Here's your second question. Fill in the blank. This is your brain. This is drugs. Blank. 
and this is a fried egg. Do you remember those commercials? This was, this was a uh, an anti-drug commercial that your brain was an egg, drugs was the frying pan, and then this is your brain on drugs. You got it right. And it was the and egg frying in the And your final question: Who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? Oh. Wow, this is a good question. Uh, Matthew Broderick, Michael J. Fox, Eric Stoltz, Corey Haim. Do you know? Do you know who played him? I do. That was our dear Michael J. Fox. You got it! Let's see how you did. That's some good you got 80s three trivia. You out of three. A perfect score! Woo you win four ThimbleCon 87 yes! tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. Oh, that's What's convenient. your name? Um, my uh, name? Uh, I am... <laughs> I'm Batman. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. <laughs> Alright, excellent. Let's go downstairs. Pick up those tickets. And I want to take a quick look at ThimbleCon before uh, before we wrap up this episode. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park <laughs> County area. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gumaboo Trivia Contest. Excellent. What is your name, Abu, please? Uh, I am... Ah, yes. Here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to... I'm going out. to check out your beautiful <laughs> lobby. Yes, indeed. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Oh, you too. Oh, man, I've got tickets for everybody. That is excellent. So everybody can come to ThimbleCon now. Uh, ah! oh, hi. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, there we go. Here's, Here's my ticket. ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Oh, okay. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah, prosper. Uh, yeah, there you go. There is cosplay legal advice. We've got, oh, there was another Batman. Pew, we have pew, pew. Action figures. We've got someone selling comics. Bottled starships. A silent Spock. And Gary pew, Winnick. Pew, pew. Okay. Drinks. We've got a couple of. Uh, we have two Corys because, of course, we do. And this is the Ransom Jerk-alike contest. Ooh. Yet again. Oh, that's super creepy. Oh my gosh, it was. I did see him. I saw him around that corner. What? Oh, so creepy. Okay. Yeah, that's super creepy. All right. Well, that that feels like a pretty good place we'll, we'll explore the um the Thimblecon. Oh my gosh, look. Look, it's the ghost of of uh, he's right in here, Franklin. Oh, but now he's Shut up in there. That's Superman would totally fry Batman's ass. Oh, maybe that's not Franklin. Hold on. I'll wrap this up in just a sec. But is there another ghost in here? There is! Okay, so that'll be nice. Um, Franklin can chat with Virgil as well. Alright. My goodness. Well, who is spying on us? And what is Virgil doing in here? And why are there two Corys entering into the, the Ransom Jerk-alike contest? And... <laughs> oh, so many questions. So many questions, but not enough time to explore them in this episode. 
no indeed, those shall all have to wait. Because at this moment, at the end of this episode, I just have enough time to tell you that it has been a pleasure to play along with all of you in the future. And I look forward to seeing you again in another episode. And now that I'm done saying that, there's really only enough time left for me to say a ciao now.